Hi Capricorns, Power and Light Tarot coming at you with the reading. And today we have another bomb reading, set, uh, Capricorn, we do. <laughs> and before we begin, Capricorn, yeah, if you would like a free five-minute psychic reading, you click on the link below with Mystic Sense. They have a lot of Mystic Sense over there. I'm sure they have common sense. Anybody who has uh, Mystic Sense typically has common sense. Uh, yeah, they're both really important. They are. And so especially with what we are navigating, right? Yeah. And in this, uh, in during these times, yeah. And, uh, mm -hmm, difficulties and challenges. Uh, and most people know that, right? Yeah. But anyway, let's get into this. If you would like a reading with me, Capricorn, you can get one. You click on the about tab here, uh, on my page and I still have the 30 minute video uh, and it's $60 and I have psychic readings as well. Those are accurate. Yes, they are. I don't have time for testimonials right now because uh, I have to uh, go in to help a friend out. Yeah, uh, pretty soon. And so, uh, but when I get return, I will add those. I also have video chat readings where we get to see each other and you know, yeah. And so those are a lot of fun. Let's get into a Capricorn and we have anger in this reading and uh, this sword here, it's a small sword. This is how they have it depicted here. It looks like an injection. I don't appreciate that, right, Capricorn? No, I don't. Uh, no, we're not doing that, right? We're, no, we're not. We're just, uh, we don't do that because people told us to or put a guilt trip or coercion. No, we don't do that. And so, but this here is, uh, it's really a sword <laughs> and it's going through the hand. It's not really funny, but it's going through her hand and this is anger. And so with the anger, we have the message of guidance. We do. And it's showing up with forgiveness. Now, you know, Capricorn, I feel like somebody here, uh, is either fighting with somebody because they were trying to get forgiveness from them. Uh, there's change here. We have the the Sabbat or the Sabbat. I'm not sure how you pronounce that. It looks very Hebrew, very cool. And the moon is up here. It's a full moon. This is the moon deck, one of them, right? This talks about a change in somebody's life, a new chapter. It could be a time where somebody has a child, they get a divorce, uh, or they take care of their elderly parents, or maybe even the end of, uh, you know, high school or not high school, but you know, uh, I don't know, college grad or just moving far away, something like that. But there is a change here. And I feel like this is more a relationship is, you know, kind of biting the dust here. Yeah. Another one bites the dust, Capricorn. You guys remember that song? <laughs> it's not really that great, but it's just like, it's kind of, I don't know. It's kind of, it just kind of wakes you up and it's got a lot of animo in it, but yeah, animo is, yeah. So somebody's mad here and we have the message of guidance and forgiveness. The message of guidance is somebody, I believe, has awakened to a love here. Somebody has, and they are listening to it. And we know this because we have the blue moon here and the blue moon talks about something just beautiful and once, once in a lifetime or once in a blue moon and just really gorgeous. And I feel like, uh, maybe this is the love of your life, uh, going through, uh, some type of a chapter change or ending, closing of a cycle to be with you. I feel like that's true. Unless they need forgiveness from you, it's possible, right? It's also possible there was anger here and somebody had some type of an awakening and they're like, you know, maybe they're trying to forgive themselves or forgiveness is really important, but there is uh, definitely change here and it is all for something very unique and beautiful. Yeah, it is. And let's get into a Capricorn. We have the high priestess is here at the bottom of the deck and we're just going to have a look at her and we have the hierophant with it, the queen of swords. This could be like, uh, do I still believe in my marriage? It could be, it could be like uh, somebody who you or your person, that's how the reading could be. Uh, could be saying, well, I wonder if the so-and-so is trusting their intuition. So when we see the message of guidance, we don't mean that, you know, there was just a little, a little birdie came to your door and, oh, that must be a message. I mean, it's possible, but this more is like an awakening, like a major message, like wake the heck up here. Right? Yeah. So let's see what we have Capricorn and I uh, hope you guys are well today. Right? Yeah. Let's see what we got. 
and uh, we should have went outside, but we never know how the weather's going to be, and it's kind of a big deal to bring everything outside, so, yeah. So, here we are, Capricorn, in prison, doing your reading, right? Let's see what we have, just kidding. <laughs> Let's see, we have uh, Capricorn, and uh, now the bottom of the deck is the chariot. This is about overcoming obstacles and a triumph and somebody getting in their in their vehicle to to move on with their life basically that's really what it is we have we're going to put these cards out slowly because of the uh the high virtue standards here right yeah and uh <clears throat> that's not uh it's not really uh it, yeah it's that's it's kind of a joke. <laughs> Let's see, we have you guys, uh, but that's okay. We're just, yeah, we just, we're going to watch for that. See, here's the world card. And, you know, she's real beautiful here, right? She's the dancer. This is in your hopes and fears. Capricorn, and in the outcome is the queen of wands. Okay, so maybe somebody's a fire sign. Uh, maybe they are, the world card is Capricorn. Somebody mentions uh, Scorpio, but... It's possible because, you know, when you leave this life, you go to another. Uh, it could be, maybe. Um, that's kind of something I would have to uh, look into. It's not terribly important, though. No, it's not. So, right, we know the energy of the world card. We do, yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, it is a beautiful energy for the most part. And Capricorn, we have uh, in the in the... We have the Six of Pentacles here. And hold on one second, Capricorn. So we have the Six of Pentacles as the overall energy. And it's crossing. Crossing it is a Two of Cups. Somebody's in love with you here, and you're you probably are in love with them, both with them too. You know, the two of cups. We have two people here who are like, you know, uh, mad about each other. They are. And here's the six of pentacles. Y you know, for me, there's a give and take union is coming your way. Uh <clears throat> because somebody here believes that you are like very very important and very unique and very special with the sabbat or a sabbat. It's probably sabbat. Kind of like it probably has to do with Sabbath, probably does. Uh, maybe it's uh, to be grateful. I'm not sure, right? But yeah, I'm not sure about that. I'm, I'm not. I don't. Uh, I'm not Jewish, or I don't speak any Hebrew or anything like that. No, I don't, you guys. So uh, very rich, though. Very rich, uh, rich culture, right? And so here, Capricorn. Uh, your overall energy is the six of pentacles and here's the five over here. This is helping you. I feel like what you want in this reading or what's going to help you is if somebody realizes that they live in lack without you and hurry up and come over, honey. Yeah, because the blue moon is the opposite of lack. <clears throat> Excuse me. We have the Sabbath. This is a change, a major lifestyle change. <clears throat> or the ending of something important or something, you know, in the grand scheme of life, like, as I said, a marriage, a child being born, elderly parents are cared for, things like that, uh, any of those, right? Or anything else that is uh, very kind of, uh, you know, milestones in your life, kind of, right? The Ten of Pentacles <clears throat> is coming into play. We're going to get a card on it, and this is what uh, you are focusing on, and the Hierophant. <clears throat> excuse me, you're focusing Capricorn on, you're focusing here on this union with this person. Yeah, especially if the two of cups is over it. Now, the king of cups is in the reverse in the past. This can mean that somebody's relationship, this could be so simple, this card, king of cups reversed here, that somebody's relationship took a dive. Yeah, it's like it, it ended, it crumbled. It really could be, <clears throat> it could be somebody made a decision in love and it's against somebody because here's the King of Cups reversed, right? Can talk about an alcoholic, can talk about a whole bunch of things. Maybe he's drinking too much, a King of Cups, could be a player. But we're not looking at player energy in this reading. No, we're not. <clears throat> and we're not looking at, uh, I forgot what I was going to say here, but this isn't about player energy. No, it's not. 
I do believe a decision has been made in love because we have this change, the Sabbath, a major life change. And uh, we'll get a card on the uh, King of Cups reversed and the Emperor is here with it. Okay, so yeah, see somebody took control of their life and their love life over here, the King of Cups reversed is... <clears throat> It's possible they weren't in love with somebody anymore, right? It is definitely possible here. We have the four of pentacles in the near future. You're, you, this person's coming to hold on to you, Capricorn. And that's what their big lifestyle change is. Or you're going to hold on to them, right? And this guy's wearing a skirt. You know, he is. But uh, he's a little bit funny here with his red shoes. And one's more red than the other. And, you know, okay. Here's the five of pentacles. And, you know, these people are out in the cold. And this is what you want, could be, you could want your person to leave, uh, leave a life of lack or leave somebody, you could. And also, this is what's helping you. <clears throat> you could be going, well, it looks like a sad card to help me. But if somebody realizes here with this message of guidance that they live in lack, I mean, I don't know how you could, how you could really not realize it. I don't mean financial, typically. I mean lack of love and things like that and you know, growth and, you know, uh, but hey, you know, uh, there's a, still a lot of people that are completely asleep as to what is really going on uh, in the United States and around the world because it's all very similar. Yes, it is. Here's the death card. And uh, they're completely oblivious and clueless, as my friend said it yesterday. Yeah. And this is not the place to ask about it. No, it's not. <clears throat> Go watch Redacted or Glenn Beck. Those are two places to start, right? Definitely. Uh, you won't even have to watch that long. You won't. And so <clears throat> five of pentacles, the death card, and this Capricorn is, uh, what you want or what's helping you. Now, these are both kind of, you know, maybe somebody has to leave. This person has to leave somebody out in order to transform their life and come and be with you and hold on to you right here. Four of pentacles. This can be read a few ways right? This is maybe what you want. Leave that person out and, you know, and have a death with them, like an ending, right? This could be a real ending. It doesn't always have to be a transformation. Uh, and, you know, actually a real ending is a transformation every time anyway. Yeah, it is. Because things change profoundly, don't they? <laughs> and your advice is the seven of wands and, you know, could be stand your ground. Maybe that's their advice. And the five of wands reversed, you know, and this could be your person's energy. Stand your ground, end the competition, or end the struggle. There's really not competition in terms of emotions here. They're only showing one, two of cups here. And the other relationship could be this five of pentacles. It really could. You, you could be going, you're mean, Sagittarius. You're mean, power and light, right? Yeah, stop being mean, right? Okay, well, sorry. <laughs> if it appears that way, yeah, but... I mean, that could really be what's going on here. That's why I'm kind of a little bit laughing because that could be the truth, right? Now, the seven of wands and with this five reversed, this could be how you're being affected by this person. You could be very overwhelmed because you want them to end the competition or end the struggle. I feel like it's major struggle here for somebody. And that's why they're like, I got to give it up, the Sabbath. I got to end this. this. This is no good for me. I can feel the energy in this reading where somebody feels like if they stick around, their health is good, might go downtown. Yeah, downtown. Can you still go downtown? Oh, you might get mugged. Yeah, right? Yeah, you could, right? For sure. Uh, <clears throat> but you know what I mean? Down, down and down. Yeah, down to the ground. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so this could be how you're being affected, as I, as I said. And how you could be affecting them is the Knight of Wands. Yeah, the Knight of Wands is about courage and it can be about passion. So this person has a lot of passion for you, Capricorn. They can't wait to come and, you know, and kind of, you know, just look just like this lady here on the world card with you, right? Because she really doesn't have uh, a stitch of clothing on. No, she doesn't. And uh, yeah, and we also have the Queen of Cups here. And this is how you affect them. They're, they're in love with you here. There's a lot of passion compassion there could be friendship here when we see compassion sometimes there's friendship can't really have a friendship without compassion unless it's some really kind of it's not really a friendship there's no it's just some type of an acquaintance or something but this is also in your environment here here they come your hopes and fears uh capricorn is you hope they come uh butt naked here possibly uh i have her all covered up here 
and uh, you could be hoping that this cycle will end and you can live a new cycle with this person. Because in this reading, it is all about a cycle ending with the Sabbath card with the full moon, right? Yeah. And you're hoping for that. In your outcome is the Queen of Wands. Here she is sitting there with her cat living a passionate and intuitive life. Yeah, and inspirational. And here's the Ace of Pentacles in your outcome. So very beautiful for you. And let's see what your person's up to over here. Yeah, let's see what they're up to here. They, uh, they start with choices. And here is the older man. He's an angel. That's okay. He, you know, he probably uh, had a lot of little devilish uh, bouts in his life because <laughs> he's older, right? And he's like, oh. So he's made, you know, he's made a, a major choice here. And uh, he has a, a white and a black wing or, you know, maybe this is not really sure what color, but it looks like that. It doesn't matter. And here is, I feel like this is the owl possibly uh, flying up here to this moon or so. I'm not sure. It's hard to see it, but this is choices. And he's made, your person has made a major choice. Crossing your person's choice is don't let pride get in the way. And let's have a look at that because it, it's, you know, you could be saying, well, that means a lot of things. Yeah. And it does, right? It sure does. Yeah. We never let pride get in the way over here. Uh, <clears throat> because, so this is Leo, uh, uh, Capricorn and Leo can be about ego. It can, right? Leo's a leadership. It is supposed to be the strongest sign kind of, uh, in the Zodiac. I mean, you know, I've heard say that N not so much astrologers, but you know, but it's about courage and, you know, Leo is the sun, which is the most, um, the most powerful planet. It's not really a planet, but you know, uh, it's about the heart Leo. So this is a very strong sign Leo it is, but it can be about ego because Le Leos can be leaders and very extroverted, some of them, and it can just be about ego. It can, and like false pride or, you know, things kind of ruffling your feathers because of a lot of ego. Ego can be seen in many ways. Everybody needs one, but just not a fat one, right? And so don't let pride get in your way. The full moon in Leo, this is crossing your person and they're making a choice here, right? Have you been letting your pride become an obstacle? Is the question you're asking based on your ego or is it from the heart? I feel like your person here, this isn't a crossing energy. They could be ending a chapter where it was all based on ego. Ego could be money or, you know, people don't want me to walk away from this situation because, uh, you know, we're, we're, we're friends over at the, the, the social club, the, what do you call it? The golf, uh, I forget what they call that. The, uh, some club here where people have money or, or whatever people let ego or they don't want people to talk about them. And it's just, it's ridiculoso sometimes, but Hey, you know, we all have kind of feelings, but when you let your ego run your life, then your life is, uh, is going down every minute real, real fast, right? Leo energy is all about the heart. You see, think of the big hearted King of the jungle, the lion, its energy is magnificent, but when it's combined with the rush of the full moon, it can become over the top. This card may have come to you because you need to end a deadlock that has developed. Wow. More love and thoughts for the greater good are the solution to this dilemma. They're ending a deadlock with somebody. They are. Maybe it's this moon cycle too. And why it's all happening for them, Capricorn, uh, is a card that I just lost here. What would I do with that card here? Uh, it was, uh, and I know what the name of it is too. That's very annoying. It's called the message of love. And here it is because it was, and so why it's all happening here is a message of love. Your person had an awakening that they love you. A soul, like that you're a soulmate here. Here's the third eye, right? We're going to end this reading. We're going to go to the extended. Yeah. I feel like it's going to be a, a very awesome reading and they're all super affordable. This will be a 10 card Oracle. We're going to have a 10 card tarot spread as we do. Thank you so much, you guys, for joining me here. Capricorn, you guys rock and hugs to everybody. Yeah. No matter if, you know, no matter, no matter. Right. Thank you so much, you guys. And please remember to like, share and subscribe.